Hi. Um, it's been a while. I haven't vlogged in a long time. I have taken a major break in a lot of ways because I've had a lot of stuff going on in my life. But um, that's for later. The question we're all wanting to know is, what was my UFO experience in San Luis Obispo? Okay, well, first of all, whoo, it's a lot of information to take in. And without getting too complicated about it, I'm going to try to stick to topic. If you have any specific questions, um, you can, you know, shoot me a message or you can, you know, post it to YouTube. Whatever you want to do, I'm here to answer. Um, no hate comments, please. Those will just be uh, completely unacknowledged, and I'm not going to participate in any negative energy. My beliefs are that of my own. I don't expect anybody else to take them on or necessarily believe me or even form that opinion. However, I do ask you to just keep an open mind and listen to my experience and, um, you know, see what it makes you feel, and, and that's pretty much what my attention is. Um, and to hopefully resonate on some level with something that you might have gone through and help other people to kind of come forward to talk about stuff that they might feel kind of weird about because this is definitely a very touchy subject. But now entering 2012, as I've said in a lot of my posts, um, we're at a time now where we can talk more about these things openly. And um, I think people are starting to wake up to a couple of different truths. Whether debatable or not, we're all sharing something in common, and that is the search for um, for truth and, and knowledge, profound knowledge, um, ancient knowledge, if you will. Okay, to the point. So, uh, I was in the San Luis Obispo with a um, friend and roommate, David. I have a witness. He saw it, too. And we were on the beach, and it was at night, and I was on our way back um, from a trip for the weekend from a performance that I did at Tribal Fusion Fair. And... Um, yeah, so we we're driving back, and before, actually, before we drove back, we wanted to stop off over at Spooner's Cove, which is in um, Montano de Oro, and uh, it's a really beautiful part of the coast that I really recommend everybody get to at some point. It's amazing. Um, there is campgrounds, there is ocean, there's, you know, forest, trees, it's beautiful. So we're at Spooner's Cove, and it was nighttime. Uh, getting dark actually, and uh, we had spent some time at the history um, <laughs> history um, at the history museum, and uh, we learned about a family, the Dalladay family, that used to live in San Luis Obispo. Uh, this family was wealthy; they were artists. Somehow had connections into this whole journey I went on, which I can get more into later. Uh, from there, we connected the dots and did some research, and just uh, ended up back at the beach where we had been the night before uh, and day before, which was just really amazing and beautiful and, you know, just earth energy to the max. So we ended up back there after going to the History Museum exhibit and just started to make all these connections and just started to naturally kind of go into the conversation of evolution and mankind and human beings and aliens and UFOs. And um, while we're talking about this, uh, basically... David noticed something in the sky, and it was like this this huge, like, um, light, just like kind of, you know, steady, uh, parked there, you know, kind of thing. At first, we thought maybe it was something <clears throat> um, for, you know, aircraft or boats or whatnot. Then we realized that it was just at a weird place, and it couldn't have been that. Um, we stared at it for quite a while. I, at first, just, you know, assumed it was something you know, explainable. Uh, as much as a spiritually oriented person I am, I'm also kind of skeptical sometimes and need proof of things. I can be very, uh, I'm, I work on both sides of the brain, which is why I have such a hard time existing in the city. Um, anyhow, besides the point. So we noticed that was up there and he saw it moving at first. I didn't really see it moving. Um, and we just started to get moved towards this conversation. It just, it would get more and more intense. And then I started talking about, um, you know, where humans came from and like all this weird stuff just kind of started coming out of my mouth. And I was like, okay. And not like weird, crazy stuff or anything. I wasn't like, you know, hearing voices or anything, but it was definitely, um, seemingly like knowledge that was kind of just being fed into me, but I was just discussing it as an idea. And we started discussing things. And next thing you know, um, he starts seeing, uh, this object move. And I looked at the object myself and I didn't really see it move at first. And then we keep talking, we keep talking. And then all of a sudden in the middle of our conversation, which 
um, I'll get him on camera later and we'll talk about the experience. Um, all of a sudden, oh, I get chills just thinking about it. I want to cry. Um, I kind of just like drop into this trance and like he's talking and I'm sitting there and all of a sudden I'm just kind of like, and I just start like, kind of like, uh, just start like looking at this thing and, uh, I just get sucked in and it was like, I left my body or something kind of thing happening. And oh, by the way, I wasn't in anything. I think I smoked a little bit of weed, but that was it. Um, and so I felt like I was removed from my body and was just staring at this thing. And then as soon as I started that, I started kind of like in my mind and I always do this as somebody that works closely with, um, with, uh, channeling and meditation. And I just started asking for like a sign just to see what would happen. You know, we all do it. Um, and yeah, and that's when it happened. It started just kind of moving. I can't explain like, you know, like I'm one of those people now that's going to explain the typical, you know, UFO, uh, you know, sighting, but that's what it did. It went from like here to here to here back up here. And like, so like it was fast, but it was also very smooth. It wasn't just like that. It was like, it was crazy. Um, so that happened. I grabbed David by the arm and I was like, dude, did you see that? And he was like, yeah, I told you it was moving. I got chills. I went into trance again, watched it move again, and then almost felt like I had this whole conversation with, I don't know what, like, um, you know, it was just, it was intense. And I just started getting all these messages and I can't explain it. Like it, it was just so incredible as the messages were happening. I felt like I was connected to this entity or whatever it was. Um, it didn't, it did not feel of this world. I meditate a lot. Um, I've worked closely with the other side and I know that the energies are all different. They resonate on different frequencies and this frequency was out of this world. And it, I almost threw up twice. Like it was really bad. Like I was like dry heaving when it first started moving. Like I felt like I was in it or something. And David was there and I was like, Bleh. like I was going to puke. And he was like, Oh, don't puke. And I wasn't doing it on purpose. And then I started shaking. I got really, really cold and just got sucked back into this, um, you know, whatever it was at that point, I kind of heard in my head that it was going to leave and that this was a gift like seconds before it actually shot up in the air, got dimmer as if it was like, you know, just backing up or flying away or whatever. I don't know if the lights went off or what. It was gone. <clears throat> Literally in like a flash, a heartbeat. I grabbed him and I said, I knew it was going to leave right now. It was like, it was talking to me. I sound crazy. I don't care. It was the most intense thing that's ever happened to me. Um, and that's where I'm going to leave you for now. I'm going to paint this so people can see kind of what it is I saw and, um, you know, write down the, the message that I was told. Um, and yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. And I hope you've enjoyed, um, this quick tidbit of me setting a precedent for, um, talking about, uh, what I witnessed more in depth later. So thanks for caring. Thanks for tuning in. And um, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to hit me up on YouTube or message me on Facebook. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's facebook.com slash vegan bombshell, V-E-G-A-N bombshell, like it sounds. And feel free to add me, hit me up um, or not. It's all good. Just want to share this just for the sake of sharing. That's it. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Peace.